One of my TikTok followers brought this case to my attention. I hadn't seen it yet. This man, Chris Christensen, um, unalived himself because his wife called the cops on, on him. Um, he left a Facebook post and it was a fairly long one. I'm not going to read the whole thing. He says, unfortunately, Marlena's anger got the best of her that night. She called the police, which landed me in jail that night. Yes, me, a man who has never hit or harmed anyone in his life. I think it's safe to say Marlena truly regrets making that call. Because the events of that night have completely unraveled both of our lives. I'm on the brink of losing my job. I am out on administrative leave until my case is resolved. However, the legal system is extremely flawed, especially against men and fathers. And it's sickening how quickly and easily an innocent man can be thrown in jail based on zero evidence or proof. Okay, I am a black woman in this country who knows some history. And anyone who knows just a teensy bit of history in this country knows that innocent people can easily be thrown in jail or arrested at the behest of a male Sabian woman and her tears. White women's tears are a thing and white women's word has been enough to weaponize the justice system and cops against non-black, I'm sorry, non-white people in this country forever. It has been enough. Simply a woman, simply a male Sabian woman breaking down, accusing somebody, breaking down crying has been enough to get people thrown in jail, to get people unalived. The Tulsa race massacre was started because a black man accidentally stepped on a white woman's foot. Everyone knows why Emmett Till was um, lynched. There have been countless numbers of others pulled into, into the public square to be lynched. Susan Smith accused a fictional black man of kidnapping and unaliving her children because she understood how her tears and words could be weaponized. Barbecue Becky, Permit Patty, Amy Cooper calling the cops on a black man um, for bird watching. White, a white woman calling the cops on black men sitting in Starbucks who hadn't yet ordered. What I want to bring to the forefront is that these people have been able to weaponize their tears in this country throughout history. And so now that it's being turned inward and used against them, now it's a problem. Maybe they shouldn't have been able to use their word and tears against other people up to this point. So fix that. I That's all I got on this.